Welcome back to Tech Nation, the channel that brings you the latest and greatest in tech news and information. Today, we're talking about a subject that's been around for ages, yet still manages to catch people off guard, the Trojan horse virus. This malware threat may be disguised as a harmless program, but it packs a serious punch when it comes to wreaking havoc on your computer or device. So, if you want to learn all about this sneaky cyber attack and how to protect yourself from it, be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video. Trust us, the details are going to be amazing. Trojan horse viruses are among the most commonly employed security threats in the present day. In this video, we will delve into various aspects of Trojan horses, such as their definition, their significance in terms of cybersecurity and cyber attacks, their modus operandi, the impact they can have on individual users as well as companies and organizations, and methods to safeguard oneself against Trojan horse attacks. What exactly is a Trojan horse? A Trojan horse refers to a form of malware that appears to be a legitimate program, but is actually downloaded onto a computer or device with malicious intent. Essentially, a Trojan is a type of malware that remains hidden within an email attachment or a file downloaded from the internet, and is activated once it lands on the user's machine. The executable file contains a built-in program, and the Trojan acts based on this program. Trojans can be used for a variety of nefarious purposes, such as deleting or altering data, copying data, censorship of data, or causing disruptions in the functioning of computers or computer systems. What are the sources of Trojan malware? Email messages. File transfers from other devices. Malicious websites. Social engineering. What defines a Trojan? Trojans are often mistaken for viruses or worms, but they are neither. A Trojan can be a file infector that self-replicates and spreads by attaching itself to another program. Unlike viruses, Trojans do not need to be attached to another program to spread. While viruses are considered legacy threats, worms have also become rare, although they do appear from time to time. A Trojan can also be a combination of codes that programmers use to execute any number of threats, from ransomware that demands payment to spyware that stealthily steals valuable information such as personal and financial data. For example, adware may sneak onto your computer as part of a software bundle. You may think you're downloading one piece of software, but it's actually two or three. The program creators usually include the adware for marketing affiliate purposes so they can monetize their installer with offers, which are typically clearly labeled. Such adware bundlers are generally less harmful than Trojans. What are the symptoms of a Trojan virus? Sluggishness or reduced performance on your device. Trojans often introduce additional malware that consumes a significant amount of computing resources. Removing the Trojan malware infection can speed up your computer or other device. Sometimes, Trojans can overwhelm your computer and cause crashes or other failures. The infamous blue screen of death is always a cause for concern. Unrecognized applications on your device, many Trojans install additional malware. If you notice anything new in your Windows Task Manager or MacOS Activity Monitor, look it up it may be malware. System redirects. Some Trojans alter your DNS settings or manipulate your browser to redirect you to malicious sites that can collect your data or infect you with additional malware. As the Trojan installs new malware or makes changes to your system, you may see new icons or symbols on your desktop, as well as browser toolbars or plugins that you didn't install yourself. If you notice more pop-ups or ads than usual, there may be a Trojan installed on your device. Trojans and other malware try to disable your antivirus program to evade detection and removal. What is the functioning of Trojans? Trojans, unlike computer viruses, do not manifest themselves. They require the user to download and execute the client side of the application for them to operate. The Trojan works by disguising itself as legitimate files to deceive victims into clicking, opening, or installing them. Once this happens, the Trojan proceeds to install malware on the device and runs each time the infected device is turned on. A hacker can convert the system into a zombie computer, giving him remote control over it without the user's knowledge. The hacker can then use the zombie computers to spread malware over a network of devices known as a botnet. The malware will activate upon the execution of specific actions by the user, such as accessing a particular website or using a banking app. Depending on the type of Trojan and its creation method, the infection may delete itself, return to a dormant state, or remain active even after the hacker's desired action is completed. Let's discuss types of Trojans. There are numerous types of Trojan horse infections that cyber criminals use to carry out different activities and various attack methods. 
Backdoor Trojan enables an attacker to gain further access to a computer and take control of it using a backdoor. This allows the malicious actor to do anything they want on the device, such as deleting files, rebooting the computer, stealing data, or uploading malware. A backdoor Trojan is often used to create a botnet through a network of zombie computers. Banker Trojan targets users' banking accounts and financial data. It attempts to steal account information for credit and debit cards, e-payment systems, and online banking systems. DDoS Trojan carries out attacks that overload a network with traffic. It will send multiple requests from a computer or a group of computers to overwhelm a target web address and cause a delay in the service. Downloader Trojan targets a computer that has already been infected by malware, then downloads and installs more malicious programs to it. This may be additional Trojans or other types of malware like adware. Exploit Trojan contains code or data that takes advantage of specific vulnerabilities within an application or computer system. The cybercriminal will target users through a method like a phishing attack, then use the code within the program to exploit a known vulnerability. Fake Antivirus Trojan mimics the actions of legitimate antivirus software. The Trojan is designed to detect and remove threats like a normal antivirus program, then extort money from users for removing threats that may be non-existent. Game Thief Trojan, specifically designed to steal user account information from individuals playing online games. Infostealer Trojan, used to install Trojans or prevent the user from detecting the presence of a malicious program. The features of Infostealer Trojans can make it difficult for antivirus systems to detect them in scans. Mail Finder Trojan, designed to collect and steal email addresses that have been stored on a computer. Ransom Trojan, seeks to disrupt a computer's performance or block data on the device so that the user can no longer access or use it. The attacker will then hold the user or organization ransom until they pay a ransom fee to fix the device damage or unlock the affected data. Remote Access Trojan, similar to a backdoor Trojan, this type of malware gives the attacker full control of a user's computer. The cyber criminal maintains access to the device through a remote network connection, which they use to steal information or spy on. Let's discuss some potential ways how Trojan malware infect computers. Using file sharing websites. Websites that allow file sharing such as torrent sites are popular among users. However, they are also attractive to hackers who can easily gain access to your system. Trojan infections can be disguised as music files, games, and other applications, making them difficult to identify. Message spoofing. Hackers can spoof messages to make them appear as if they came from someone you trust. They can also create usernames that look similar to real ones, hoping you won't notice the difference. Once you click on the link or download the attachment, you unknowingly infect your computer with a Trojan virus. Malicious websites. Hackers can exploit weaknesses in unsecured websites to upload files or take control of the entire site. Once they have control, they can redirect you to other sites where you may unwittingly download a Trojan virus. Public Wi-Fi networks. Hackers can create fake Wi-Fi hotspots that appear to be legitimate. When you connect to these networks, they can redirect you to fake websites containing browser exploits that infect your computer with a Trojan virus. Trojan viruses can cause extensive damage to your computer system, including deleting files or stealing private information. To detect a Trojan virus, you can start your computer in safe mode and check for any suspicious applications or processes. You can also clear temporary internet files and run a malware scanner to identify and remove any Trojan viruses on your system. To remove a Trojan virus, you can start by disabling any startup items or applications on your device that are not from trusted sources. However, be cautious when removing programs as it can slow down or disable your system if critical programs are removed. Installing a trusted antivirus product can also help in effectively removing Trojans. To protect your device from Trojan viruses, it is important to run periodic diagnostic scans and keep all applications updated with the latest security patches. Always be cautious when accessing websites and opening emails or attachments. Use strong passwords and enable the inbuilt firewall in your device for additional protection. The Rackney Trojan delivers ransomware or crypto jacking tool to infect and target devices. The Tiny Banker Trojan steals users' financial details and has infected at least 20 US banks. Zeus Toolkit is another Trojan virus that targets financial services and captures user credentials through form grabbing when users log into websites. And that's all for today's episode of Tech Nation. Remember, always keep your guard up when it comes to Trojan viruses. They may not be as sneaky as the mythical horse they're named after.
but they can still cause some serious damage. Stay vigilant, keep your devices up to date, and don't fall for any suspicious emails or downloads. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Tech Nation.